self myofascial release for head forward posture. Uh, a lot of muscles get tight on the front of our neck and the front of our chest because of the postures that we spend a lot of time in. A lot of us spend time sitting at a desk all day, hunched forward or looking down and looking at our phones. So we want to be able to release the musculature on the front of the neck that gets short and tight because of our uh, daily postures. So the four muscles that we're going to focus on, um, all being at the front and side of our necks. So the first one is our sternocleidomastoid, and that is the big anterior neck muscle that you can see when people move their necks around and it can stick out right here. It attaches right uh, at the inside of your collarbone. So, and then it runs all the way up to the mastoid process behind your ear. So in order to work this muscle, you can grab onto it. So if we're gonna work the left side, you're gonna take your left ear to your left shoulder and try to actually grab the bottom of the muscle. From there, you're gonna bend your head away from that muscle and you can look up to the ceiling and you should start to feel a pretty good pull uh, under your fingers. You can also work the muscle from the other end. So if you side bend towards that muscle again and try to grab it or even just pin it down with your fingers and do the exact same thing, you're gonna side bend your head away and then look up to the ceiling. Again, you should feel a nice pulling underneath your fingers. The next set of muscles that we wanna work on are our scalenes, which run uh, along the sides of our neck uh, in a few different directions. So this one will be a little bit variable. What you're going to do is because they attach to the first and second ribs, we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna go above our collarbone and kind of sink in and down behind the bone anchoring that tissue as much as you can. So if we're working the left side, you're gonna side bend your head to the left again to loosen all that tissue so you can get your hands in there. Anchor your hands and you're gonna slowly side bend your head away. Now here's where you can play with that a little bit and you can either look up to the ceiling or you can look down towards the floor. The muscles have different fiber directions and so you can play with which way you look to determine uh, which position gives you the largest stretch. The next muscle we're gonna do is our subclavius, and it is a smaller muscle that runs right underneath the collarbone. So in order to do this, it's very similar to the others, but this time you're gonna take your fingers and go below the collarbone. So again, you can slacken the tissue by bending your head towards that side, and then try to sink your fingers in underneath that collarbone and hold them there. You can then take your head rolling up and you should feel a pull underneath that clavicle. So again, if you want to gather some tension, you can look down to start, anchor your hands and look up. Finally, the last muscle we want to do is pec minor. Pec minor is a a little bit harder to get, but if, if we're gonna uh, work on it, we're gonna work on the, the top part of the attachment. So you're gonna run your hands along the collarbone and find where there's a little bit of a divot in that bone or the bone changes directions. Where you feel that, you're once again gonna take two or three fingers and anchor them onto that spot. You can kind of fold forward a little bit. Again, so you can gain tension. You're gonna keep your hands anchored and then you're gonna sit up nice and tall. You can look up to the ceiling. You can even start to stick your chest forward a little bit, trying to feel a pull under your hands. You can do a combination of these um, stretches or uh, just pick a couple that you feel the tightest in, but it will certainly uh, set you up for success if you're spending a lot of time at a desk.